guys, so I'm here with Isaac. <laughs> Isaac uh, came to Australia from Chile, um, came here at an open mic a few weeks ago, uh, which is currently going on in the background, uh, knocked our socks off, and I was like, this guy probably wants a job. Um, I did. Needed a job. Anyway, um, aside from that, the fact that Isaac has the Dendervine shirt on, uh, and he does such a good job serving people and making people happy. He's an amazing musician. Um, and Isaac was doing this Muses with Musos series, just basically finding out about everyone's life and their passion for music and where it came from, all that kind of stuff. Um, obviously, it's a bit of a different culture in Chile to Australia, I imagine. Um, What's the what's the the feel for music over in Chile? I know South Americans are very passionate people and love their music. So, can you just explain to maybe people that haven't been there uh, what it's like over there? Uh, music. Well, we have a big uh, sentiment for music, especially in the capital of Chile. Santiago is big for the, their festivals, and we have uh, a lot of big festivals down there. Uh, it's down there for me, and because I was from the north. Um, but yeah, we, we have massive artists. Uh, we have massive arenas for big shows, um, and yeah, people loved it. Uh, every major artist that goes to Chile, they get booked out straight away. It's just minutes, and they they gone the, the tickets. And what about local music, like places like Dendervine, but they, they exist in Chile? Like, how's yeah. it look over there? There is a few well-known venues, but people, I think that they need to support more the local artists. You will see people go crazy for uh, international artists and people that are local just the support is just being honest it's not there um, most of the musicians that make it in Chile is just because they go out of the country they get famous outside of Chile and then they get noticed and so where do they go America most of the time Mexico okay uh, because most of the artists in Chile sing in Spanish so Mexico yeah. is huge for music yeah. and then they, yeah we have a big example in Mon Laferte she was really good uh, but she never got the recognition that she deserved she moved to Mexico for a couple of years and then she got huge so you um, you have original songs you're a songwriter yep. um, do you have to make a decision as to whether you make them in Spanish or English? Like how do you how do you decide that? Like why why do you do one in English, for example, as opposed to in Spanish? Words in English for me have more meaning, so uh, I I would feel more in English. That's why I sing in English because for me performing live, especially, it's just making people feel what you're feeling through music. So when the words have more meaning for you, you can express those feelings in a more genuine way. Right. It's interesting, yeah, because obviously music's a lot, very emotional for a lot of people. Like, I've had people say that coming to a venue like Den Divine has saved their life. That's not a word of a lie. Um, yeah, people all go through their own things and speaking to emotions, you never know who you're going to connect with. Um, what's your, who's your biggest influence in I will say there's a lot of uh, Oasis, a lot of Jason Mraz, and the Killers in it. Uh, and of course Arctic Monkeys in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit of a grunge pop, I will say. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, in terms of your career, like you're obviously working here, you're obviously traveling, visiting Australia, and um, you have to support yourself with another job. Uh, very hard as you've already said to make it what would be what makes you happy I mean, obviously not everyone can become famous but what do you find solace in what do you what, do you, what makes you happy about your situation and the love that you have for music I think the the times that I've been the happiest up in the stages where I feel that people are connected to my music. So when I'm singing and I hear just the music and not just people shouting, 
that's when I feel more connected so I can go deeper within myself and express the music as the best that I can. I believe the second night that I sang here I felt the most connected so that was my best performance so far here. So what would make me happy is just it's just those tiny moments when you feel the connection with the audience and you feel that they are there, you are there for them, so it's just a magical moment. I think that's why people love, musicians love Den Divine, there's no other distractions here, there's no pokey machines, no sport playing on in the background, it's purely for the music, yeah. um, and people come here for that. It's, it's, I greatly appreciate you taking the time to express some of your opinions and uh, put your socials on here, speak out to the people. I know you're on Spotify and all that. I, you can search for me as Hey I'm Isaac. Like, hey, I'm Isaac. But that's my name in every social. Spotify and, and Instagram are my main uh, source of communication. Hey, I'm Isaac. Thank you very much. Yeah. Cheers, mate. <laughs>